Hi guys, it's your girl Jilly. I know I'm not uploading as quickly as I used to, but I want to go ahead and start talking about heavenly guides. What are heavenly guides? Well, there's many types. This particular video, I want to talk about angels, but just for other examples, other heavenly guides would be spirit guides or ascended masters. But angels is what I really want to focus on right now. Now, I do want to get this out of the way, guys. I'm sharing my personal experience with you guys. I'm not an expert at this whatsoever. But the reason I'm doing this video is because when, when I started my channel, I started um, studying the law of attraction and studying ways and practicing and refocusing my thinking. I still have a lot of work to do, but when I started doing this, I started seeing numbers, repetitive numbers. And from what I've learned, angels speak to us in many different ways. I'm going to share my personal experience after I explain the ways that they speak to us. Now, can they talk to us? using their actual voices. Yes, they can. But that takes a lot of energy for them to do that because they do not have a physical body, so they don't have a physical voice box. So in order for them to actually speak to us with their voice, it takes a lot, a lot of energy. Now, this is just something I've studied. So I can't tell you I, I've actually heard them talk to me before, but I believe they talk to me with clear seeing and clear feeling and clear knowing and clear audience. Now there's different types. I've heard them. I've I've heard them or not or I've experienced them talking to me using each one of these methods. Now, what is clear seeing? Clear seeing is when angels talk to you by showing you repetitive symbols or repetitive pictures or repetitive numbers, which is what it is in my case. When I first started experiencing this, I saw 1111 a lot. I mean, a lot. I wasn't looking for this number. I, I had no idea what angels were or what spiritual awakening was. I had no idea, but I started happening to noticing it. And I had watched The Secret on Netflix. That's when I started studying the law of attraction and picking up videos. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I never saw anything about angel numbers or um, any type of numbers being communicated while practicing the law of attraction or The Secret. Now, I did see synchronicities, but they didn't specifically specify synchronicity in that video. But I saw 1111. I saw on the time on license plates. I tell you, I freaked out when I went to a restaurant and the cashier total was 1111. I was like, okay. And then no joke. And I believe my angels guided me to this video because I never Googled it. I never, there's nothing in my phone that showed I had a history of what is 1111. No, it popped up on my YouTube video feed. I'm like, I have to click this. Like something told me to click it. And I found out what 1111 was. And it made so much sense to me because I felt different. I felt like something was calling me. And then pretty soon I was seeing more number sequences. 444, 333, 222. 555. Five. They were popping up in this manner. Now each number has a different meaning and I will do separate videos of what those numbers mean. But this was clear seeing. This is how my angels talk to me the most is clear seeing. So when I see a number repetitively, I will look it up to see what it means. Now some of these I already have memorized because they pop up all the time. But that's the main way they talk to me. But they can also use coins feathers. And it doesn't have to be those specific things, but those are the most common things people claim that they see when angels are speaking to them. But they can also be clear seen by showing you the same picture. Like you'll, maybe you'll start seeing apples everywhere 
and you'll think of your grandma who used to bake apple pie. And maybe it's your grandma right there talking to you. Or, well, it's not because you're not saying your grandma's an angel because more than likely they're a spirit guide if that's the case. But we'll get another video on spirit guides at another time. But just to give you an example, they'll put something in your face, something for you to see over and over again. And you might just be knocking this off as coincidence. But it could be your angels talking to you and trying to tell you something. Now, when you see something like this over and over again, whether it's a number, a coin, or images, pay attention to what you're thinking about at that time when you're seeing these images and see how it relates to your particular situation. Now, clear feeling. Clear feeling is your gut, your gut instinct. Now, for example, let's say you take the same route every single day to work, but for some reason, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna take this way and not this way, and you'll get to work, nothing happened to you, then you find out later on that there was an accident on your normal route, or maybe you avoided danger. You have no idea why you decided to take a different road. You just felt like you had to. No explanation. That is your gut instinct. That is your angel using that to communicate with you, hey, you need to go this way. And you might be brushing it off saying, oh, that was just a coincidence. That's just, that's your ego talking. That's your ego rationalizing why you made a certain decision. But that was clear feeling. Clear feeling. You just knew you had to take a different route. You, you can't explain why. Or maybe you went on a date with an attractive man or woman, depends what your preference is, and they were perfect. They were attractive, had a great career, um, drove nice things, had everything going for them perfect in every possible way. And you're, you're just thinking to yourself, no, you know, this person's not right for me. They're not right for me. I'm just, there's nothing that this person is doing to make you, to prove to you that they're a bad person. If anything, they look perfect in every single way, but something inside of you is saying, no, this person's not for me. And later on you find out that they're actually married or they're seeing somebody else, or maybe they have a, um, they've done something that you don't agree with or something of that nature. You'll find this out later on their line. Even though you had no explanation, you just knew that. That's your angels using clear, clear feeling, clear feeling to speak to you. There's also clear hearing. I also want to talk about clear audience, but I'll do that in a different video, but clear hearing. Let's say you're having doubts about a relationship and it just keeps nagging at you, but you're not sure whether or not you should leave. And then all of a sudden you hear a song that kind of answers your question, but at first you're not really paying attention to it. Let's just say you hear shake it off by Mariah Carey, like you gotta shake it off and you gotta leave. Or you hear, um, what's another one? Another breakup song. This, 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 this is a song that pops up that just keeps reminding you, hey, you know, you need to break up with this person. That's, that's clear hearing. You're hearing something that tells you something. And you finally, and you, after you hear all these songs, you're like, okay, maybe this is a sign from the universe. Yes, it's a sign from the universe. Your angels are talking to you. The angels work with the universe to tell you and send you a message. Now, another way you can have clear hearing, and this is my personal experience. I've, I've experienced this many, many times. I have talked, I have, I have been practicing talking to my angels. Now, some people will tell you to meditate and just hum and listen and write down your feelings, which I'll get back to that in a different video as well. But I've actually talked to my angels in the car. Um, mind you, it was a little bit at night. This is when I'm, I'm starting to practice it. I was talking to them and just basically having a conversation like they were my friend. And all of a sudden I had a ringing in my ear. It was like, I, I was like happy but freaked out at the same time. Like scared and happy at the same time. Not scared, like frightened, like I felt like I was in danger, but like, wow, this is different. But I felt happy that I had that acknowledgement. I will hear ringing in my ear from time to time, just random, and just my ear will just go, I'm like, oh, okay, what am I thinking at that time? What am I thinking? Now, there are times, actually, this happened two, no, two or three nights ago. I woke up to somebody saying my name. I heard it as clear as day, saying my name. 
in the middle of the night and it woke me up. Now, angels will also wake you up in the middle of the night. I have woken up every single night, not joking, every single night for the past week. But sometimes I'll have a break in between. But ever since I started my, my spiritual journey, I have woken up in the middle of the night. Angels will wake you up in the middle of the night. Not just angels or spirit guides and ascended masters will wake you up in the middle of the night, but they will wake you up. And it's a very important that when you wake up in the middle of the night, that you write down whatever it is you're feeling. Now, some people say you should ask the universe at that point in time what you want and concentrate. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm still learning this journey myself, but I write, I've actually woken myself up when I'm not being lazy. I did it only one time, y'all. I'm going to be honest, y'all. But I was sleepy as heck. But I'm like, no, I'm going to fight my sleep. I get up, talk to my angels, and write down everything I'm feeling. And I did. I was so proud of myself, too, y'all. I felt so, so awesome. But most of the time, I now I just wake up and I say, thank you, angels, for waking me up. But they'll wake me up with a special time. I've always, I always seem to wake up between the hours of 2 and 5. I've woken up and I've seen 444 on the clock. 33 on the clock, 222 on the clock, or it'll be 244, 344, 444, 544. There's always a repetitive number. Not always. I want to say 9 out of 10 times it's a repetitive number when I look at the clock when they wake me up. But I make sure to look up the meaning of that number or write it down so I can look it up. But that's going back into clear seeing <laughs> and clear feeling. Um, but I want to get back to the clear, clear hearing. Um, yes, I've heard my name spoken in my ears the first time I've experienced it. And I also hear ringing in my ears. And sometimes if I have a song in my head, like, for example, if a song pops up in your head and you didn't even hear it play on the radio, you haven't heard it recently, but all of a sudden you have this song stuck in your head. Okay, maybe you need to pay attention to the lyrics of that song and what you're thinking or what you're going through in life and apply the lyrics of that song to your life at that point in time. That's clear hearing. Clear knowing. Clear knowing is your intuition. People say it's a lot like clear feeling, but clear feeling is more like a gut. Intuition is you just know. You're not even in a situation. You're kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like feel like knowing something's going to happen even though it hasn't there's been no signs to it. Like for example, you'll just know something's going to happen. You don't know why. You just know something bad's going to happen that day and something bad happens. There's a difference between intuition, like clear knowing versus clear, um, clear feeling. Because feeling has something more to do with your gut instinct and intuition or, or clear knowing is more like you just know something's going to happen. There's no circumstances around you that's giving you that gut feeling. You just know something's going to happen that day or even something good's going to happen that day. Like, oh, you just wake up on the right side of the bed and say, oh, I just know today's going to be a good day. And it's the best day ever, ever in your life. I hope I broke that down pretty good um but this is something i really want to share with you guys and this is another reason why i haven't uploaded as much as i used to i'm st i'm still adjusting to my spiritual journey i'm still growing and i'm still learning things every single day um i have not mastered the art of meditation um i have never been good at quieting my mind enough to concentrate now you can blame that me being a gemini you know as gemini's our minds are always racing or I have just, I'm one of those people who will stay up at night and I have sleep problems. And when I do go to sleep, you know, my angels are like, mm -mm. I know you just went to bed, but I gotta tell you something. <laughs> Things of that nature. My mind's always racing. Now I have had a nice pleasant experience when I have successfully meditated. And to me, a successful meditation is more than f like five minutes, five minutes of pure concentration to where it's not broken. That's a big deal for me big deal and I have experienced peace now I remember just the other day I didn't mean to meditate I was actually trying to nap but it ended up being a meditation it turned into a meditation and I didn't even need that nap anymore but meditation is the best way to clear your head and get your um, heavenly guides to talk to you whether that's a angel spirit guide or a master or so on but I just wanted to explain that to you guys and I have to tell you it's been an incredible journey and I don't concentrate on it like I should because my angels remind me every single day, you need to meditate, girl. Work on yourself, girl. You got so much more to offer. And I believe I am meant to help the world through teaching and speaking and helping. 
Um, my master number is 33. I'm not a numerologist, so I don't want to confuse you guys, but I do want to let you know I do believe in numerology, and it's been pretty good. And my my number apparently is the rarest master number or life path number, I should say. And it means the master teacher. And I've always been told I'm a good teacher. I've always been told I'm a good explainer. And I've always been told that people like to pay attention to me when I talk. Um, so yeah, it's been a great journey. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. And hopefully I got you interested in this. And I hope to be more of an expert on the subject a year from now. And I can share you more experiences. Again, it's your girl, Jilly. If you guys are liking my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also support my channel by making a donation to the link below. I have a cash app tag and a PayPal link. I might get Venmo soon. <laughs> so you guys can complain that I don't have Venmo. And you can also follow me on Instagram. Now I'm not active on my private messages. I have moderators for that because I've have, I have to keep myself safe. I have people follow me for the wrong reasons. They should be following me just because they're a letter of my channel, not because they have other intentions. I also try, I do that to avoid trolls or inappropriate messages because I do get them. And my moderators help clear out those messages. They also help set up people who wanna purchase services from me. But I am very active on my comments. So if you comment on my posts, I will more than likely will respond to you. As long as it's not advice or service related, then I will definitely respond. I'm very active on my comments. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. It's your girl, Jilly. Oh, and yes, um, YouTube has not been that great about notifying my subscribers when I upload a video. So please click that bell notification so you are notified once I upload a video. Peace. I love you guys so much. Many good vibes. Many blessings. Namaste. <laughs>